Vision Sports, your number one authoritative breakfast sports show on radio. Vision Sports, weekday, 7.30 a.m. on Vision 92.1, Abuja. Okay, guys, you know what time is it when you hear that sick till it's time to talk sports and sports. We must on that note of welcome into the morning sports show on radio. It is Vision Sports. Mission at the top of my boot. I am a sport bishop, a magistrate, a pilot, a prophet, a professor, non so are in ZHAE. On the show today, we'll be bringing you all the latest happening in the top five leagues in Europe, the Nigerian Premier Football League. We'll bring you a list from the world of tennis, Formula One, golf, badminton, and of course, the camp of the various national teams. So sit back, it's going to be a jolly ride, okay guys? So after that, we say much time, let's head out to the local scene. And we start off from the National Sports Commission, where we hear that the president of the Federation of International Football Association, FIFA, Jade Fantino, has um, expressed a confidence in the capacity of Malam Shehudiko to achieve success in his assignment as the chairman of the National Sports Commission of Nigeria. In a message signed by the Fantino and sent to Diko on Thursday, October 31st, the FIFA president stated that he is convinced that his knowledge, experience, passion, and personal qualities will have a significant impact on the discharge. Of his duty, in particular, noted that there was like, already a lot of satisfaction across the populace of Dico's appointment, and wished him best of luck, every success in the tag. <laughs> I will go to tennis. We can let you know right now that um, our action continues in the World Tennis Table Tennis Championship in Frankfurt with the Nigerian star Aaron Akwadi producing another decent performance. Nigerian tennis table tennis star started the, started the game a struggling manner before losing the first two sets, 17, 11, 11, 13. And then Kovac started from the third with a 11 5 win and claiming victory in the final two sets, 14, 12, 11, 13. Arona is aiming to end the season on a strong note, having struggled with injury recent time. It's true uh, to the quarter finals of the WTT in Frankfurt. <laughs> And also handball we go where the team Nigerian 18 handball side started their campaign in Indy, continental trophy on a strong note on Sunday evening. Facing Zambia, the game was online, was clearly contested with both sides trying to seize the control, but it was the Nigerian side who prevailed at the end of the day with a narrow 36 to 1 victory over the hard fought Southern Africa. The Nigerian team will aim to continue their decent performance when they play Ethiopia today in Addis Ababa. <laughs> And now we go to volleyball where we hear, of course, that the part of administration of Commission of African Volleyball, CABB, has officially appointed Angela Musa Nimrod as the president of the CABB Beach Volleyball Commission. The appointment made in Casablanca, Morocco, represents a significant milestone not only for Nimrod, but also for the future development of beach volleyball across Africa. In his acceptance speech, Nimrod expressed his vision for beach volleyball, probably to elevate it to one of the premier sports on the continent. <laughs> As the basketball, we go where the uh, national male basketball team of Rwanda has unveiled the professional squad out of the Afro Basketball Team 25 qualifiers. The professional squad include Atino Jackson, Alexandra Arjan, Chiquiz Wilson, William Robinis, Kennedy Manzi, uh, Stephen uh, Emil Galuis, Gal- Gal- Bruno Schimmer, uh, among others. Qualifying game are scheduled for November the 23rd to November the 24th in Dakar, Senegal, South Rwanda, and in Group C with host Senegal, Cameroon, and Gabon. <laughs> And of course now to uh, Continental Basketball, where the MFM Women Basketball Club are in Monrovia, Liberia, for the African Zone 3 qualify for the club championship, which begins today. Six, seven teams are participating in the championship. Nigeria and Cote d'Ivoire, as well as host Liberia, are presenting two clubs each. The seventh club is from the Republic of Benin. Nigeria, other team is Customs of Abuja. In the MFM team are four players who qualified Nigeria for the under-18 World Championship in Serbia, happening in 2025. Captain Wando Ambam Mavis, led by under-18 others, are Halima, Halima, uh, Halima, 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 Ayoka at the LDG, Idumapo, Beggy, Pios, and Abigail, EIZ, WFM team, the Fed Niger Custom to obtain the title they won last year in Lagos. <laughs> we stay with basketball this time here in Nigeria, where the Fed Champions, Rivers, Rupert, the Fed Hoops, and Reese, 80 to 79, in the clinic contested game in the last day of the Atlantic Conference in Benin on Saturday. Four players finished on double digits for Hoopers. John Johnson and Neye with 13, Michael Okiku added 12, White Patrick Umba and Ifa Ikolo Koko both scored 10. Abba and Koko both made two trades in the game, scoring two over three from the arc. So, who uh, We hear that the, 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 uh, the Kicks men, as they are fondly known, will return to that court to prepare for the final eight 
due from the 13th to the 19th November in a year to be decided venue. And of course, what does that mean when you win, 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 win? All you see is more money. As of course, the River State Port Commission, Commissioner Chris Green has rewarded River State Port for their performance at the Nigerian Premier Basketball League. The Kings may finish the Atlantic Conference in Benin, or started with seven matches unbeaten. Coach Odo Odwadu represents uh, the River State Commissioner for the three players with one million naira for each win in the conference. <laughs> Now we go to football. We start off with the CAF where we had the Commission of African Football CAF has released the final schedule for the CAF Women's Champions League Morocco 2024. The final edition of the African Premier Women's Club Tournament will take place from the 9th to the 23rd of November in the cities of Al Jadida and Casablanca in Morocco. The opening game will feature their Congo team in the South African debutants at the University of West Cape Town on Saturday. Uh, we hear uh, last letter host as well will play Senegal and guest de la Medina. Uh, both games will be held at the Mohamed El Badi Stadium in Jadida. The following day, Group E matches will include title holders Mobile Sunders against Egypt FC Mufasa and CBE of Ethiopia against Nigerians Edo Queens. All system matches will play between the two venues with the final scheduled to take place at the Jadadida on Saturday, the 23rd of November. And now we go all the way, let's head out all the way to, of course, Aiba, a Nigerian representative in the continent. I thought about Aiba of Aba. We here to know that Aiba, the Commission of African Football, has announced this for the commencement of the group stages of the Champions League and Confucius Cup. Nigerian representative Aiba International among the teams who will com- 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 who compete in the campaign in the group stage of the season's Confucius Cup, according to CAF, the group stages of the competition will start on November D26 to 27, 2024. The Black of Egypt are presently defending champions of the competition and they are in the same group with Aiba of Aba. <laughs> Continental football, we continue where football world, uh, world was thrown into another moment of mourning on Friday following the demise of Uganda referee. Peter Kabugo was in charge of the Premier League game between SC Villa and UPDF on Friday afternoon. Bit was midway into the game, Shanta referee collapsed and eventually died despite all efforts of the medics. According to Rwanda, journalist Eric, Eric, the Real Football Federation, is yet to release an official statement concerning this development. <laughs> And now to the Cabo of Super Eagles we go, where we hear that the Libyan Football Federation acting president Nasi El Suwale has informed the Libya has informed that Libya has submitted an official protest to the appeal committee of the Commission of African Football CAF against the decision of the Supreme Committee regarding the second leg against the Nigerian Super Eagles. The Supreme Committee uh, sanctioned Libya 3.3 goals and a fine of fifty thousand dollars following the event that took place at the Labrac Airport, where the Super Eagles were held in hostage situation for more than fifteen hours after its charter flight took about two minutes to land in Benghazi. And Suwale well, said the Libyan Football Federation supported the protest and file with documents and evidence indicating that the Libyan Football Federation did not commit any violation and would require the imposition of any penalty. <laughs> and now we know, of course, that the 2023 Super Eagles players invited will arrive at Bijan on Côte d'Ivoire on November 10th ahead of the 2025 African Nations Cup qualifying match, the past fixture against the Republic. The Republic adopted Cobra Bichon will be the uh, battleground when the West African brothers go to the battle of the qualification of 2025 CAF African Nations Cup. According to uh, reports, the Spire will take on Bene at the adopted home ground on Thursday, November 14th, before they welcome Rwanda for this letter in Uyo to round up the qualification campaign. <laughs> And of course, our sad news for Better Republic, but maybe good news for Nigeria as ahead of the match, the five encounter between Nigeria and Better Republic, uh, they will be without, uh, Better Republic will be set to be without a reliable defender, Cedric Hutunji. The defender sustained an injury during the eve of the four qualifiers against the Amovubi of Rwanda. Since then, the lucky defender has yet to return to action for the club and will be a notable absentee in the, in the team when the list is out. Jitters are currently second in the group behind Nigeria with six points, and a win against the Spire goes will boost their chance of qualifying for the Bahanwa tournament. <laughs> One man is saying he's available. He is no other than Kelvin Apokuma at Super Eagles. The friend that he eyes is Super Eagles. Super Eagles recall. Uh, he has not been. He has not been part of the team since uh, the last uh, very long time, more than a year right now. And he says he stopped calling me for the Super Eagles game, but I'm available for Kuche Wavom. I'll keep doing my best, and hopefully I'll get a chance. Apokuma said. <laughs> And now to the MPFL we go, where we heard that Nubi Stars have uh, fired the service of foreign head coach in the ongoing 2024-2025 Nigerian Premier Football League season. The club technical advisor Adela Mokachi earlier on Saturday welcomed Mika Lundstrom from Finland as Nubi Stars head coach. He will be on the bench of the Pride of Bedway for the match the 10 league counter 
with Remo Stars. Also, we hear uh, that, of course, uh, according to the report, economic warriors bookkeeper Ayabo Ago is dead. Putting the realness today, it was Canada that Ako, who played for Sporting Lagos, died on Thursday. According to the club warriors, Ayabo Ago died after a road crash. And we hear, of course, that the coach of economic warriors, technical advice, is talking about Ali Zubero, has mourned the death of one of the club's goalkeeper. Uh, Ayabo reportedly died on Thursday. The Peter Road, as Zubero described his death as unfortunate, and noted that Ako will be daily missed by the club family and relatives. <laughs> and after the MPFL, pro, MPFL proper where Devil Town to Kourou City uh, ended uh, very much later on beating Rome with a comfortable home win in the match they turned MPFL tie. The guy boys had their nose in front uh, via your midday coast first goal of the season after he tapped in uh, a cross from close range in the 48 minutes. He goes double their lead when Ajib uh, uh, Chaib laid a suspicious ball uh, for Rivo Oyemere who expertly sends the ball into the cold calmness and the, into the cold calmness in the third minute. And the kind of Michael Ibe still three strikes, still three points for Remo Stars against Lobby Stars. Got about just brace for in, Inuguru Rangers International and short that's why United returned home empty handed. One of the defeated two stars by two goals to nail. In the Oriental Derby, Hartland got the better of Abia was by the comfortable two nil victory at the Umaya Township State. While Bernard Shorans defeated Sunshine Stars by one goal to two away from home. Kapla secured the late win over Plateau United. Aqua United won 2 1 against Quara United, while Aimba held Belsa to, to still meet Yenogwa. Then what was the third down? Beating run by beating Katsuna United by Gautineo. <laughs> And now to the full result, Ekrem Warriors 1, Katsuna United nil, A Bayosa 1, A Bug 1, Aqua United 2, Quara United 1, Canopilas 2, Platoon United 1, Sunshine Stars 1, Bernard Insurance 2, Abbey Warriors nil, Hatland 2, Barabas Stars 1, Lobby Stars nil, Enugu Rangers 2, Nasua United nil, Ikorodu 2, Rebass United nil, and 93 those beat Stars by 2 goals to nil. <laughs> And I will go to the end now where we hear that uh, Ijebu United has announced the appointment of Bright Osebe Osebe as the head coach of the club. Osebe was hoping a year contract with the voters from Ijebu Day was officially unveiled on Friday on the 1st of November 2024 and is expected to be really swing into action with the recruitment of players and other technical issues in readiness for the club activities during the 2024-2025 football season. While he t- traveled and vast experience, he led the Korea United Korea City into the NPFL at the end of 2023-2024 NNL season and the national quarter-final stage of the President's Federation Cup. <laughs> and now we hear that uh, ABB Fogans of Tokyo has confirmed the arrival of Edo Queen's player Suliat Alaju Moke Abuddin a large market was key, was key to Edo Queen's success both in the Nigerian Men's Football League and the World Football Regional Competition. Uh, we hear uh, Edo Queen's will have to be prosecuted the playoffs of the Cup Women's Champions League without the hard working player. Hey, hey, hey. Now let's go to the floor and see quickly, guys. And let's start off all the way. Uh, from golf, we start off from golf, guys. And uh, let's let you know, of course, that of course, uh, uh, England Charlie Hall uh, shot a six under power final six to win the Amaco Team Series event in Riyadh and claim her first victory since 2022. Hall is to the eighth and the third and final round, two strokes behind par Banik of Slovenia, but five birdies and five holes pushed her into the lead. She was able to hang on to as uh, she won by three shots. Uh, uh, Hall ranked fifteenth in the world, won by three shots from Denmark Nico Brocek, Estrup, with Bob Nick in third after a costly round. Of 73. Still talking, go over. We hear, of course, that um, Rio Takeda won her first LPGA tour title by beating American Marina Alex in a 6 0 sudden death playoff at the Japan Classic 21 year old person in the playoff when she buried the 18, leaving both players on the 15 on the after the tournament was reduced to water to 54. The regulation holes following Saturday's bad weather. The pair both buried the first playoff holes and found par during the next four holes. But Japan Takeda made a birdie on the par 5 18th to see of Alex who could only find par. And also at last is where we hear that Abdi Nagehi is a third spot former champion Evans Tibet in the final stretch to win the men's race of the New York City Marathon in 2 hours 7 minutes 39 seconds. Dutch rider Nagehi finished second ahead of 22 winner Tibet uh, and, uh, with Albert Koril taking third place and last year's winning an Olympic champion Tamara Tola placed in fourth. Kenya Roda Shila Chipru won the men's event with 2 hours 24 minutes 33 seconds finishing 14 seconds ahead of 2023 winner Eli Nobiri. 
Chief won the 10,000 meter bronze at the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, led an all Kenyan podium with Vivian Chiriot taking turn. <laughs> and after MotoGP, where the defending champion Francesco Bagna kept alive his hopes of retaining his MotoGP title by winning the Malaysian Grand Prix ahead of driver John Martin. Bagna, a two time title winner, finished three seconds in front of Spania to win his 10 GP uh, Grand Prix of the season. The final victory means the championship will be decided by the final race of the season with Martin holding a 24 point advantage. <laughs> and I quickly will lead to Moto2 MotoGP where the Valencia MotoGP has been cancelled following the devastating flash floods in Spain. The season finale was scheduled to be held in Valencia. Ricardo Tomo was executed from 15th of November. At least 202 people have died in Valencia region after Trencia rainfall. <laughs> And after Formula One, where we hear that Max Verstappen climbed up to from, uh, climbed up uh, from 15th from 17th on the grid to win the Sao Paulo Grand Prix, one of his greatest victories, taking him to the brink of a fourth world title. Rafa Leblanc, the Norris of McLaren, had a difficult race, finishing sixth after a couple of key errors to fall to two points adrift of Verstappen with 82 still available in the final three races. Verstappen will become world champion if he leaves the next race at Las Vegas on, on the 3rd of November with a lead of at least 60 points. Esteban Ocon. Pierre Gasly took the final two podium finish to transform our first season and move the team up from ninth in the Constructors' Championship to six. <laughs> and after tennis, we go where Elena Rabakina has appointed fellow former Wimbledon champion Goran Ivan Nisovic as her coach for next season in World Number 5 won her first and so only Grand Slam title at Wimbledon in 2022 with former coach Stefano Vukic. Ivanovic, who memorably won Wimbledon as a World Cup in 2001, previously worked in Novak Djokovic for six seasons. <laughs> and of course, for Katie Buta, a British number one, she was comfortably beaten in straight set by Russian top seed Diana Schroeder in the final of the Hong Kong Open. Buta said that second was beating to win a third WTA title of the season, but was never in the contest, losing 6 1 6 2 to World number 14 in one hour and 11 minutes. Despite the defeat, Buta will move into the top 25 in the world for the first time without a strong finish. To this season. <laughs> and the Celtic uh, Sabalenka Arena continued her dominance over the Queen with victory in the, fi- in the first match of the season ending WTA finals. New World of War Sabalenka beat Chinese 76 for in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> and of course, we hear that uh, because what we can have beat to gain the world the number one ranking when they come back win over Barbara Rikova in the WTA final group stage. Balas Watek trailed the Wimbledon champion by set and double break before regrouping to win 4 6, 7 5, 6 2. This was the 23 year old first match since a qualifier US Open exit in September and her first under new coach win, she said. <laughs> Okoko Gucci beat fellow American and double partner Jessica Peguna 6 3, 6 2 in the second Orange Group match on Sunday. <laughs> And also the man where we hear that German Alexander Zeppelin claimed the straight set win over home favorite Hugo Humbert to claim his first Paris Masters title. The one number two beat the French number one 6-2-6-2 six two, six two, on Sunday to secure the 7th HP 1000 title of his career. Both were playing in the fourth final of the year with Zeppelin having lost the French Open final to Carlos Alcaraz in June. <laughs> To the NBA we go, where we let you know, of course, that Joel, the NBA says investigating after Philippa from the Sixers center back, Joe Embiid had an alleged physical altercation with a reporter. Embiid confronted the reporter in Philadelphia locker room about an attitude that referred to his son and late brother, as well as criticizing his fitness and professionalism. The seven time NBA All Star and 23 the most valuable player has yet to play this season because of a knee injury. This incident happened at the Sixers 124 107 loss to the Memphis Grizzlies on Saturday. <laughs> And before we go to football, let's give you the result of game from the NBA, guys. Come on. I know you love the NBA. Let's do that quickly before we head out to football. And these are the results of the game played across uh, Mad Venue from yesterday. From, uh, let's start off from, from Saturday uh, to now. We know Hornets lost to 09 to 124 to Celtic. The Cleveland beat Magic 120 to 109. Pistons lost to the Knicks 96 to 126. The next. Uh, lost to the, beat the Bulls, I think, by the 120 to 112. The Toronto Raptors were beaten by the LA Lakers, 125 to 131. The Mayor Hawks lost to the Sacramento Kings, 115 to 123. Uh, Pelicans beat the Pacers, 125 to 118. Timberwolves 
beat the Nuggets 119 to 116. Uh, the Trailblazers lost to the Thunder 114 to 135, but the Hornets were beaten by the Boston Celtics 103 to 113. Uh, yesterday, that is, uh, uh, some sisters lost to the Grizzlies 107 to 124. The Raptors beat the Kings 131 to 128. The Rockets lost to the Warriors uh, after overtime 121 to 127. The Bucks were beaten by the Cavaliers 113 to 114. Spurs beat the Timberwolves 113 to 103. The Wizards lost to the Heat 98 to 118. Uh, the Suns beat the Trailblazers 103 to 97. The Nuggets we played the two to Jazz, 129 to 103. And the Clippers were beaten by the Thunders at home, 192 to 105. The Brooklyn Nets uh, were beaten by Pistons, 106 to 92. And then, of course, early hours of this morning, Pelicans lost to the Hawks, 111 to 126. While the Mavericks beat the Magic, 108 to 85. <laughs> And out to football we go. One man has been named the manager of Trinidad and Tobago. His name is Dwight York. He has been appointed the head coach of his country. Country. Uh, he's, uh, he won some two caps for Trinidad and Tobago uh, since, from 1989 to 2009, scoring 19 goals and captain them to 26 World Cup. He is the new man in charge of Trinidad and Tobago. Also, one man leaves uh, a Fluminense after his contract was terminated. His name is, of course, uh, Marcelo. He's not the Brazilian side. Uh, the club has confirmed. He did not disclose why his contract was terminated. But we heard he had a disagreement with Coach Mano Manonez to reply this to the draw with Gremo at the Bracana de Rio de Janeiro uh, during the last game. <laughs> also, we heard that 20, UEFA has ordered 20 to, to partially close down their stadium during the next European fixture, playing racist behavior by the supporters, National Winger Liam Chuana, so has racist abuse from 20 fans during their side Europa League encounter in Netherlands on the 24th of October. The club has also been fined 40,000 euros and 59,490 pounds. Sad one for 20. Now to the Premier League, where we hear, of course, the Wolves director, squad director Matt Hobbs has been given a two match stadium ban and fined £7,000 for misconduct by the Football Association. He started later on incident following their two month defeat by Manchester City on Sunday, the 20th of October. Amai United officially have appointed no order, and of course, uh, Ruben Amorin as the new head coach, is 39 year old, uh, who will move to Old Trafford from Lisbon on September the 11th, November the 11th, has signed a contract until June 2027. <laughs> he wanted to stay back to the end of the season, but my United told him, either now or never. <laughs> and now, uh, Tim Hag wishes the co- my United well and hope they, hope they get back to glory and the end of his tenor. He wishes the new coach, Ruben Amorin. Uh, best of luck and hoping to get back to winning ways. The word of sacks manager, Eric Ten Hag. <laughs> and uh, quickly before we go, let's give it his up. I'm going to have three new players of the New York Berlin in the Bundesliga. Had a case scoring a brace, a green penalty. Uh, alongside Kings, the command, a three new victory. Uh, for Napoli, they were beaten by Atlanta. The uh, Stadio or Diego Armando Maradona uh, with our old man, Adama Lucas, scoring a brace. Another encounter. That boy cannot be stopped. Also, uh, we hear that Liga Liga managers are not happy with the fact that games went on. I uh, thought about uh, despite the rainfall, the rainfall in the Valencia region, we're not happy that some other games went on. Don't forget the games in the Valencia region were postponed, but other games go on. Why right? several managers believe that the matches should have not gone on? But so now by three one better than Espanyol in that encounter, Danny almost scored a brace alongside Rafinha to beat Espanyol by three goals to one. In that encounter, uh, and of course in the Premier League, there were wins for Bournemouth, Liverpool, Newcastle, Nottingham Forest, and of course. Of us, the biggest game of the night, number my United, and of course, uh, Chelsea. Both of them had to share. <laughs> okay, before we go, let's give the result of games across uh, the European scene. Start from the Premier League Newcastle 1, Arsenal 0, uh, Liverpool 2, Brighton 1, MP2 1, Leicester 1, one Bromo 2, Manchester 1, Southampton 1, Everton 1. Uh, Everton nil, I beg your pardon. Nottingham Forest three, West Ham nil. Wolves two, Crystal Palace two. Tottenham for four, Aston Villa one. Man United one, Crystal Palace one. Fulham and Bournemouth will play tonight. Tonight, Monday night football in the Spanish La Liga. Games went down. Let's go, Club one. Real Betis one. Santa Vigo get up it tonight. Monday night football. Uh, Real Sociedad beat Sevilla away from home by two goals to nil. Barcelona three, Espanyol one. And let's go, Madrid two. Las Palmas nil. Girona four, Leganes three. Barcelona one, Valladolid one. And Elves I beat Mallorca by a goal to nil. In Italian Serie A, oh, two games tonight. Three games tonight, I beg your pardon. Parma vs. Girona, Empoli vs. Como, Lach vs. Cagliari, but in Fudo, Inter Milan beat uh, Valencia by a goal to Neo Torino, Neo Florentina 1, Valencia 3, Roma, Neo Napoli, Neo Atalanta 3, Monza, Neo Milan 1, uh, two was a, having a great game in that encounter. Bologna 1, Leti Neo, Udinese Neo, Juventus 2. In the Bundesliga, Dortmund were, were beaten, uh, Dortmund beat Arabi, let's get a beg your pardon, by two goals to one, the Signa, Iduna Park, 
Producer, I'm going to take beat. What I bring my phone, go to one, bam, bam, three. You know, Berlin, nail. I'm for him, nail. Support it, two. Brown, a Freiburg, nail. Mine, say, what's Borg, one? As Borg, one. How's the chair, nail? I don't have nail. I'm going to play the goal. Let's go with VLB Stuttgart. And I'm trying to find fault. Uh, beat Bokum by seven goals to two. You heard me right. Uh, games in the league. Oh, so I'm going to say, uh, beat Nancy away from home by two goals to one. They have to beat Montpellier by goal to nail. Auxerre defeated Rene by four goals to the third two. Strasbourg nil to lose one Rams. Nil Brest nil Nice one. Paris Saint Germain beat Lens by goal to nil. Monaco lost to Angers by goal to nil. While Lille uh, played a goal a one or draw. Big pardon with Lyon in the French league. Oh. Okay, this is how much we can take on this show, guys. This is the weekend start here. I mean, apologies, I can't open the phone line. Got a lot happened uh, during the weekend in the world of sport. Like I said, from the top five leagues to the MPFL to Nigerian players across Europe. Down, of course, the other sports happening here in Nigeria. And of course, but don't worry, tomorrow, come on, Monday to Friday is Vision Sports, 7 30 to 8 a.m. I'll be opening up the phone line where you can have your say. If your child or your world is participating in sport, please do encourage him or her. He or she could be next JJ or Kocha, the next um, uh, Funke or Shonaika, the next Tubla Bambo. So who knows? So we call it Chimo How. Okay, keep talking sports. Keep living sports. Sport is life. Life is meaningless without sports. Up next is Bugami Classic. Shola AJ is in the building. He has birthday yesterday. Same with Peace Cafe. Something is happening in this, this office. Trust me. It's a birthday feeling. But don't worry. One hour of current affairs, I tell you. Don't go nowhere. For me, the house get me. I don't work out. AJ takes the reins. <laughs>